Assalamu alaikum friends, welcome back to the channel, all is with you in the Shafiri. In this video, we are going to start learning about some of the side effects you do have in Jetpack Compose. This video, we are going to learn about the latched effect. Let's get started. Alright, so here I'm having simple Jetpack application. So I'm going to create a header function, right? It will be just a composable function for a header. So like that, I do have a just a simple header, it will be shown in the middle of the screen. So here we go. Exactly, we do have hello world in the middle of the screen. So what are exactly side effects? So we know that the compose world, that this function can execute many times, can do recomposition, because if you think of it, it is just a function and we are calling it here. So function usually are called. And if you think about it, let's say we are going to provide it with some state. And whenever this state change, we know that this composable will recompose, right? But what will happen under the hood is that this function will get called with another parameter, okay? Who is calling the function? Of course, it's not us, we already called it here. It's the compose runtime. So the compose runtime do a lot of stuff. And it can execute this function as many as he wants. One of the things is that sometimes we tend to do something not like this composable thing here is related only to the UI. But sometimes we want to do something that is outside the scope of the UI, outside the scope of the composable. In order to do that, and also to guarantee that when the compose runtime execute this function many times, it doesn't mess up with the logic we added that, that doesn't have relationship with this composable thing. Okay? So let's say I'm going to create or have a toast message. Okay? Simply a toast like the usual way we do things. And you are going to make a text, and usually we do show, right? Here we need the context, and for that, I think we do have a local context something. Yeah, and we get the context, current context. And after that, we are going to show hello world, like that. And of course, yeah, the duration of, yeah, usually there is a toast dot length long, for example. And think about it if this function is going to execute, it you are going to launch this. Uh, make text, okay? So it will go to show it. So I don't know if I'm going to occur a composition right now. As you can see, hello world is getting shown uh, one more time. Let's say, for the sake of example, I'm going to do that. Okay, it doesn't recompose like that. It doesn't recompose, everything is fine. But if there is something that will make this recompose, right? So as I said, this will execute as many times as the right time wants it. Okay, and I'm going to show it right here. And let's start adding state. I want recomposition to happen, right? Don't know if I can force this recomposition. I don't know if there's some tool or something like that. That would be great, but I will make it explicit, yeah? But always watch this screen since we are going to see this hello world one more time. So here, let me just do the following. Yeah, let me create a file, let's call it state, and it is remember mutable state of true for example, right? Simply like that. Okay, and here let's go to do by. Of course, you have to import it get and setter. And here in that state, what I'm going to do exactly a text. As you can see, there is the hello world. We didn't we didn't do anything. The hello world, this recompose, so this caused to be relaunched again. I'm going to continue my example. Here I'm going to do the following. As you can see, it is uh, referring to this screen, so there is this uh, live edit, I think. It's because of that. I think it yeah, immediately reflected in the image. To change certain letters in your code, it can be immediately reflected in the image. So if I change that, it will cause recomposition, as you can see, and it will happen like that. Yeah, but let me continue my example. It is state here, as you can see. And I'm going to have modifier that shows modifier dot clickable and in that state we just going to swap it to false that's all that i'm going to do and i'm going to run it again just going to demonstrate that when the recomposition happen it will make this execute as you can see hello world is here so once i click on the word it's changed okay and that's the problem if i click on it one more time it's not going to change because the state didn't change, so we don't have a recomposition. But you got the idea. We want to show this, it depends. But here, I want to show it one more time. But I want to show it one more time because when this execute, when I put that screen into play, I want it to execute once, and then it doesn't have to execute again. 
for this kind of thing, like this has nothing to do with the UI, okay? So in order to do that, there is something called side effect. If you go to the documentation, here is the documentation. Side effect is a change in state in the app that happened outside the scope of the composable function. So this is the main critical thing. We do have a lot of stuff, but for our first example, we're going to use this one, launch effect. So what we're going to do is to do something called the launch effect, okay? Here we do have a key and we do have a block. For the block, we are this is training Lambda, I'm going to put it like that. And the beauty is that this launch effect can accept security. So you can do something like that. You can do delay heat 5000 and you can just delay it because this is security in scope. Uh, you can execute suspendable function here as you might like. Now, the key parameter is an interesting thing. As you can see in the documentation, just press Control Q or F1 if you are in Mac. And you are going to see when launch effect enter the composition, it will launch our block and stop. And like whenever it enters the composition, keep in mind that this is the composition. It's not recomposition. Okay. Yeah. So the composition, yeah, we're going to have security context. The security will be canceled and relaunched when the uh, launched effect is recomposed with different key. So this is the critical stuff. This is the key. Whenever this thing here change or something, it will recompose. So let's say I'm going to put state here. And if this state changes in any ways, this will re-execute again. But let's say I want something that doesn't have to change. I can simply pass the unit. We do have problem of context. Of course, we have to do the following. Sorry. And I think like that, we don't have problem, of course. Now, if we run it, let's see. I'm going to execute it once. Hello world, because it enters the composition. This header is entering the composition. Now, if I rerun it, as you can see, we don't have the hello world again. Like this is critical to understand. Now let's play with that state. Let's put the state here in the key stuff. Rerun it again. Now, whenever this thing, like this is important, whenever this key changes, this will be canceled and re-executed. And whenever this header exit the composition, of course, this will be canceled. So here, I'm going to have this one. Boom, as you can see, we do have hello world one more time. If this, when I click on it one more time, it's not going to change, it still follows, so we won't have any problem. So I hope you got the idea of the launch effect. The launch effect will be executed, the block here will be executed once this header, this composable enters the composition, that's the first thing, or whenever this state changes. So it will recancel it and restart it again. So as I said, the state or the side effect thing is critical to understand in the composition world since from time to time and almost all the times we are going to do something here not related to the composition to the compose. So understanding this launched effect and the other the side effect we are going to see is critical to be like good in compose. Okay, that's basically it for this video. Thanks a lot for watching this video to the end. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel as always and see you in the next videos. Salam alaikum.